you know, one of the interesting things as well about grief is that, um, you know, we feel that it coming back to that initial point about putting kind of labels on it. And, and, and this is what, you know, this is what the brain can tend to do is, oh, it was the, the death of a pet, you know, even in the trauma world, little T, big tree, big T is a thing, you know, um, oh, you know, from, from the range of sexual abuse and, and, and prisoner of war camp victim to, um, you know, a dog dying, say, for example, mm. if, if someone views mm. it like that or um, parents being divorced, whatever it is. And I think in many ways, that's not necessarily an individual's fault because they're trying to map their experience. But sometimes, or at least what I'm noticing is that grief is much more about feeling as opposed to understanding. And mm. I, in fact, I think the understanding comes by feeling it all, mm. you know? Um, yeah. What do you think? Well, I, I want to stay on that for a moment. Yeah. What, what do you, what, what do you feel the difference is, is uh, what do you feel the difference is between feeling and understanding? And also, where do you feel the benefits come for either and all? Okay, so yeah, that's a good, that's a really good question. I think um, right now, because because I'm in it, it's my maybe this is my own mind and its proclivities, but me trying to understand what's going on is near impossible because it's just a, a giant paradox all the time. Mm. And as soon as I start to see a way out. Um, that's a dead end and I have mm -hmm. to go another way, you know, mm -hmm. like I said before this morning, you know, feeling fine and dandy and then tears come out of nowhere, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, it was, uh, I was just listening to an REM song and then started crying. <laughs> I, thought, I, mean, what? I mean, if you're, you're ever going to want to cry, it's going <laughs> to be after an REM. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But it wasn't even everybody hurts. It was shiny, happy people. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? you know, so, so that was weird. Um, so, so I think part of me trying to understand it is just trying to feel it all, all the time, you know, and um, I think that the, the, the good part about that is eventually I'll be able to look back and go, that was what it took to understand it because mm. this is what was happening at the time. Of course you had to feel that there and you couldn't see that, you know. Um, the the other thing, this is, I think this is an interesting part about grieving is that um, grieving is always different, no matter the person, the animal, um, you know, who's grieving who. It's one of, it's it's a struggle because in therapy, so much of it is being able to recognize our patterns mm. so that we have autonomy in the future that we want to create for ourselves. But grief throws all of that into the bin. And it's just like, mm. you know, you, you can be as open as you possibly could, you know, having done 48 psychedelic retreats, 20 Vipassanas, you know, and just be this enlightened being. And mm. then when your father dies or when your pet dies, whatever it is, you're a mess. Mm. But, um, that's, 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 that's life. 